How are the reviews making you feel? I don't want to talk about the reviews. Okay. I had a dream last night. Another one about your grandmother? No. It was about you. All right. Am I allowed to tell you about it? Of course. Um, I was on set in the house that we shot in, that weird glass box in the valley. And David Strathairn was eating cereal out of a megaphone. <laughs> I had a break. Something drew me to one of the bedrooms. And I opened the door. <clears throat> you were lying on the carpet. And um, you were all dressed up in full lingerie, you know, lacy bra, thong, stockings, those things that you used to clip your stockings to your panties. I don't remember what they're called. Carters. I was excited. I walked over, started to touch you softly at first, and then more. You were just ignoring me. In this film, you're in therapy. Yeah. Do, do you have any experience on that? Were you able to sort of draw from that I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you have the, the courage to ask me about my own therapy. Because uh, <laughs> then past. I'll share with you my therapy. Oh, good, good. I've been in it for quite some time. I, I, oh, yeah. I think I want to go back. I've tried it. I won't say that it you know did exactly what I'd hoped. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right for it. I think I'm a little too. Uh, I think I might be a little too. I know myself better than this person ever could possibly, and and I actually know all the ways I could heal myself. It's just about whether I choose to do it or not. But um, <clears throat> could you sort of relate to that dynamic? You understood that, or did you have to kind of? Well, maybe if Rosemary Dewitt had been my therapist, <laughs> things would have been different, and we would have gotten no work done at all. Uh, this guy seems to be taking therapy mm, partly seriously and partly <laughs> like speed dating. I don't know. Well, that's what I was curious about. I mean, do you see that him sort of, I mean, obviously he has an attraction to yeah. his therapist, but do you think he's there to better himself or it's for probably some a combination. other? <clears throat> probably a combination, yeah. yeah. Maybe he just landed there and suddenly, uh, you know, and did this dream really happen? Who's to say? Uh... Did you make a decision for yourself as an actor on which way that kind of goes? I think I thought it happened. But it doesn't matter. It, it mean, doesn't matter in what sense? For me, do it playing the scene. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, as long... Yeah, well, maybe it, sometimes it would. But I think in that case, uh, I'll leave it up to the person to watch. But I think, it, I think maybe he did have that dream and is very excited about, <laughs> about sharing it. Pretends to be tentative about it, but then can't wait to like you know see how it lands. See her reaction, yeah. kind of gauge yeah. that. Yeah. Well, and tell me about doing those scenes with Rosemary, working with her. Well, I've known Roe for years, uh, and so when I got the call to come do this, it was very exciting because we had never worked together. But I knew that we would have a good time, just you know, sitting in a pretend therapist's office and doing all that stuff. And was that sort of the attraction to for you to do this part? Because I mean, you're you know, got the TV show. You're in heavy demand. This is kind of a Thanks. small. Thanks. I'm glad role. it seems that way. <laughs> uh, well, no, you know what I mean. It's like sort of a small role to take on. I was just curious what oh, attracted no, you. No, it to doesn't that. matter about that stuff. That just means you only have to do it for a few days. <laughs> uh, no, this was a very hot script that I had heard about even before I read it. And Lena Dunham had done Tiny Furniture, so we, uh, we knew of her. But, uh, but yeah, I remember everyone said, hey, have you read Nobody Walks? Blah, blah, blah. So I asked my, uh, my agents about it, and they said, you're not available because we were doing weeds. Um, but then I got a call with the offer, and it was only three days, and so they worked it out. Yeah, so I was very excited to do it. And um, just thought it was a super sharp script and the kind of people I wanted to be working with. So, yeah, no, no, no hesitation there. Awesome. Well, last question I'll ask you is, I love animal practice. How's it oh, going? Good. How's the grind of doing I a sitcom going? I love animal practice, too. It's one of the weirdest jobs I've ever had. Yesterday, I was spent the whole day with an ostrich. Um, I love the cast. I just, it's just a great job. And uh, it's, like I said, it's been a completely bizarre experience. And uh, I have no idea how it's going to go from here on out, but, uh, but I love it. Is it hard working with a monkey every day? No, it's a privilege <laughs> to work with that monkey. I mean, yeah. that's a very special creature. And her handler is a very interesting and special guy. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of non-monkey jobs, so I figured it was probably time to time, do Time to add monkey right to now. your resume. The only thing I would have thought with Nobody Walks is, 
who could have used a monkey? Yeah, monkey would have been great, especially yeah, in the scene. You know, maybe monkey in therapy. You got a lot of ants. Yeah. So yeah. perfect, Justin. Awesome. Pleasure. Great talking to you, man. You too. Thanks so much. You want to talk about your little crush on our house guest? What are you talking about? I understand she's attractive. I'm attracted to her. <laughs> Just don't embarrass me. Sometimes there's a person who you know looks right. Marriage is complicated. I don't want to be alone with you. And when they walk, that walk makes ladies turn to their window and admire. This has gone too far. You betrayed me. <gasps> Dude, you're married. I see you with the accurate eyes of the sun. You will never have anything or anyone you want. Least of all, me.